You got nothing better to do than play with that. Never know when I might want to use it. What chance are you going to have to use an F.A. out here in the West? What I always say is, older brother, if a man ever gets that chance, best be ready for it. Stand still when I'm talking to you. You're a Cartwright. Do you know what that means? No, older brother. I'm waiting for you to tell me. All right, I'll tell you. It means you're supposed to be a man now, fit to do a man's work. It means you got part of the responsibility of running this ranch, same as Pa and Horse and me. I didn't think I could handle it, same as you. I quit. And how do you expect to do it with that uh, New Orleans monkey pick you got handed down to you by your French Quarter mother? If you weren't my brother, Adam, I'd kill you for that. Well, any time you're ready, little Joe, you can just forget all about us being kin. Well, you know, that'll be easy. Because I've never been able to see myself being kin to anything whelp out of a thin-nosed, blue-blooded Boston Yankee. To this shame, this disgrace. Oh, they don't hear you. They don't mean no disrespect. It's just they, they're working off a little extra steam, that's all. Don't you worry none, I'll stop them. All right, you boys had enough fun for one day. Let's call it quits. In case you didn't hear me, I said this play acting business is over, and I mean right now. Now you stay out of this horse. It's between me and older brother here. Little Joe, you better quit before I get mad. Yeah, he'll quit all right, Hoss. He hasn't the guts to take any man-sized punishment. <laughs> oh. Sons, don't we have enough to fight? Must we fight amongst ourselves? Why don't you tell that to him, Pa? He didn't get anything through that rock-bound New England head of his. Are you all right? You're not hurt, lad? I guess the only way to hurt me, Pa, is to kill me. I'm sorry, Adam. I'm sorry I raised my hand to you. Oh, go on, son. It's your brother asking you forgiveness. All I ask is for him to do his share. We're running the Ponderosa, not playing with an F.A. And that means bringing a thousand head of cattle down from pastures to the bottomland. Those cattle, every last head of them, have been grazing in bottomland since this morning. Don't you josh with me, little Joe. <laughs> oh, boy, that'd be the day anybody tried to josh with you, you Yankee granite head. Joe, you're telling the truth about those thousand head of cattle. Pa, you know he's telling the truth. He ain't no liar, Pa. That the truth, little Joe? That's the truth. How many head you lose on the way down? Nary one. Nary one. Did you hear that, Adam? A thousand head of prime stock down from a high pasture, and he loses nary a one. Well, <laughs> Joe, that's, that's wonderful. Well, he did what any poor boy out of New Orleans would have done without even thinking about it. <laughs> well, I, uh, I didn't know. I, I'm sorry. Upsane! <laughs> You celestial sky gazer, you got four hungry men who want to know what's for dinner. Yell, yell. Why you all the time have to yell? Why do I have to yell? <laughs> I go. I go away now. Hopsin, wait a minute. Hopsin. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Hopsin. You, you can't do that. Why, if you left here, I'd waste away to the shadow. You know that. You tell the old man he speaks soft, not yell. Then maybe Hopsin stay. Oh. I'm powerful hungry. I ain't had but a couple of three breakfasts since morning. Besides, boy, you know as well as I do, old Hop Singh's the best dang cook this side of San Francisco. Won't you go ahead and apologize to him? Go on, Pa. Horse is right. He's right, Pa. We never knew what cooking was like till Hop Singh come here. Oh, I sure am hungry, Pa. And I can smell dinner. Hop Singh, very sorry. Very, very sorry. Get a very good dinner. Low speed. 
Roast pig. Did you say roast pig, Hopsing? Roast pig. Very good. Paul, in all your born days, did you ever taste anything that could match old Hopsing's roast pig? Of course. You going to be able to last till dinner? Well, it ain't going to be easy, Paul. If I don't get something to eat pretty soon, I'm liable to just lay down right here and die. Uh-huh. Well, before anyone lays down and dies, let's remember there's still some work to do down at the corral. Just so happens this ranch don't run by itself. Ha! <laughs>